Hey everybody, I wanted to show you our studio and how far we've come. We're getting set up today for a five camera shoot. And the team's trying something a little different today. We're setting up on PTZ cameras on tripods here. And when you've got PTZ cameras like this, it really comes down to how can you control them? How can you control them remotely? So Lindsay's gonna help me today. Hello. And I wanna show you guys some really cool tips on controlling PTZ cameras and doing some scene switching and auto tracking. So take a look at this. This is my, my new streaming desk. I'm really excited about this. I will generally run vMix here. And if you saw our last video, you can see we have confidence monitors that uh, use a NDI decoder. So it takes the NDI video feed from vMix and shows it up there on the TV. But what we're gonna show today is the PTZ Optics SuperJoy. And this is a really cool product that can control PTZ Optics cameras, but it can also control BirdDog, Sony, some of the newer Panasonics that support Sony Visca over IP. It'll work with almost any PTZ camera on the market, even if it's an older serial camera. So the SuperJoy is really cool, and I wanted to show some of the things we're doing with it. So one of the first things we're doing is we're using these custom buttons up here. Now, of course, we can control pan, tilt, zoom. You can see here I'm controlling this camera here. And of course, we can control the pan, tilt, and zoom speeds. We can get into the red, the green, the blue, the iris, all the things that you could do with a PTZ camera. But what I want to show you guys is how we're using the custom buttons are quite interesting. So I've set up my first custom button. What it's going to do is it's going to start auto tracking. So there's a button on the joystick that will actually start automatically tracking me via a single button with the PTZ Optics Move Camera. So now you can see there's a little bit of movement. Um, so if I stand up on, on this shot here, you'll see the camera will actually start to follow me. So if you want to actually just show the video on the, on the VMAX here, you see now I'm in an auto tracking mode. And so the cameras will automatically follow me wherever I go. Now that is pretty awesome because we're in a PTC studio. We might need to go do a presentation at one of our presentation areas. Now I have the custom button set to toggle. So the first time I click the button, it turns auto tracking on. The second time I click the button, it turns auto tracking off. So that's pretty nice because now I can go ahead and do manual PTZ control. So when you've got PTZ cameras, especially if you have multiples, it's nice to be able to say, hey, that one's gonna auto track, this one's going to be my manual close up, and you kind of start to pick and choose. Now, another cool thing is we have a second PTZ camera here. This one is going to auto track on Lindsay. So when I click this button, you can see here, it's going to automatically start tracking Lindsay. Lindsay is now the presenter, so she can now start moving around and it will automatically follow her. The cool thing about this is, that we can, throughout the show, decide who we would like the cameras to auto track. So with the PTZ Optics Move cameras, there is a preset zero. And when you set preset zero, that is where the camera will zoom into to start auto tracking. So if we know Lindsay's going to be on the couch area, we know I will be at the desk area, we can pre-configure preset zero so the camera zoom in directly to the place you want it to pick up auto tracking. And it will stick to that person even if there are other people in view, which is really cool. Next thing. So there's another feature on this joystick that we're starting to use quite a lot. Again, it's a custom button. And what this does is it's called a super preset. And it allows you to issue a one button command to up to seven cameras. And so this is ideal for a scene switch. So let's say I'm gonna be the focus for of the, the video for like 10 minutes, or maybe it's an hour, who knows? We can click one button here, and if you watch this quad view, if we click one button, all four of the cameras are gonna change scenery, and all four will go to me. Now, if we click another preset, like I'll go to preset uh, four here, now all four of those cameras are gonna go to Lindsay. Now, that's Lindsay's chair, that's where she normally sits. Lindsay was actually, um, and it looks like one of them is still auto tracking. So you can imagine how you can really set up these dynamic presentations where you can do scene switches of multiple PTZ cameras. You can have some doing auto tracking, some doing uh, you know close ups, and it really is incredible how you can do that all from a joystick where you can decide at certain points, okay, I'm done with auto tracking on that camera. 
let me go ahead and take manual control. This is for me, and I've been in the industry for a long time, this is pretty incredible. So we're actually gonna be doing this live stream. If you wanna see the actual video from this live stream, I'll put the link in the description below. Let us know what you think. If you're using PTZ cameras, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and let us know you know what you want to see our studio's got tons of great stuff in here we're doing all kinds of new stuff so we want to show you guys uh, what we're doing on the channel so let me know what you think and we'll see you guys in the next video bye